In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Bluetooth with Home Assistant, which is in there, and using a dongle and a cable and a thermometer. I'm back here at the server cupboard, server cabinet, and uh, I'm going to start using Bluetooth. So up until now, I haven't had any Bluetooth. I have networking stuff and Wi-Fi stuff and Zigbee stuff, but no Bluetooth. And for a while, I didn't quite know what to do. I thought I needed special hardware. I thought I needed to do some integrations and blah, 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 blah. As it turns out, my Raspberry Pi already has Bluetooth. I didn't realize that. Um, and Home Assistant already has a Bluetooth integration, which popped up. A few weeks, maybe a couple of months ago, sort of goes, Hey, would you like to use Bluetooth? I'm like, I might. And it's happened that I have these SwitchBot devices, this is one of them, it's a thermometer. Um, so I'm going to try and use that. But first, um, I need to uh, install this extension cord because inside a cupboard, inside a metal box, inside another box of the Raspberry Pi, I'm not sure the Bluetooth uh, signal is going to be that strong. So I'm going to take it out, just this hole here out of the cupboard, put it in the room here so there's better Bluetooth signal, hopefully. I'm gonna use that extension cord for that and I've got another Bluetooth adapter here that I'm gonna use for that. So this is a um, Avantri DG45 Bluetooth USB adapter. Um, and this was on the Home Assistant website for the integration, it says this is supported. So I'm going to use that. And that will give me, uh, I'm gonna hook that up to my USB extension cord, which is here and then do the integration, uh, set it up with Bluetooth, and then try and adopt this thing into it. So that's the thought. Hopefully it'll work, I'm not sure, but you're along for the ride. Yeah, let's see what happens. Probably won't catch fire. All right, let's uh, add the Bluetooth integration. So all I have to do in Home Assistant is go to my devices and integrations, etc., and Bluetooth is right there. Actually, what happens is, if you wait a minute, there we go. The second one just pops up, which is the HCI1. So that's the USB port that I uh, plugged the Bluetooth extender into, or the you know the USB cable with the Bluetooth dongle. So I'm going to use that. So I'm not going to use the built-in uh, Bluetooth connection in the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to use the one I just plugged in. So, yep, we'll submit that. I'm going to set that up. And then you just choose an area. Where is this actually located? Of course, it's in the Lego room, so I might as well choose that. Click Finish. And that's it. I now have, well, it's just one device, which is, well, the Bluetooth device, right? And all you have here is just the device in info. You can't actually do anything with it as such. It's just a connection of Bluetooth. So that's sort of where it is. The next step is then to use the SwitchBot integration. And let's try and add it now in the hope that maybe that's the first step is to actually have the integration so that's ready to receive a SwitchBot device. But there's no unconfigured devices, so we can't actually do that yet. Which means that we have to install the SwitchBot device first, I presume, and we'll take it from there. All right, so we got Bluetooth integration is done in Home Assistant. Um, I'm pretty sure that I need to put this up on the wall, install the app on the phone, do the integration, get the MAC address, the Bluetooth MAC address from the device and enter that into Home Assistant. I think that's how it works, but let's find out. In any case, I'm gonna put this on the wall here in the Lego room because I don't have a temperature sensor in here except for in the server cabinet, but they're gonna be quite different sometimes. Um, so um, yeah, let's put this on the wall, install the mobile app and try and do the integration and see if we can get this device into Home Assistant using Bluetooth. There we go. There we go. Little unit, comes with batteries and comes with, oh right, oh magnet, oh nice. So this is a switch box. Thermometer and hygrometer. Oh, it's 
my first switch box switch bot device feels kind of kind of neat showing 17 degrees 17.8 70 percent humidity which sounds about right that look good and snap that's it so it's 65 degrees fahrenheit for my american viewers okay um app time i'm trying to adopt it and then put it into home assistant So I've installed the SwitchBot app, which is now going to use Bluetooth. So we got to obviously allow it to use Bluetooth to find nearby devices. So click on plus and set up an account or sign in if you haven't. And then that will uh, allow you to add these devices to you while your SwitchBot account. So I'm going to add a new device. It's going to scan for any devices. It finds it really quickly. So there's a meter and then I got to hold the button on the actual device for 15 seconds or thereabouts, um, 10 seconds, like that. And then it'll start finding Bluetooth or, or sending out Bluetooth so I can find it. Add that to the app. I'm gonna give it another name. I'm gonna call it, well, Lego Room, because, well, that's where it is. Um, and then just, yeah, add it to a room or somewhere, just all devices. I don't have any other devices right now. Bingo, I like bingo. That's it. It's now in the device. And then something peculiar happened. It just showed up in Home Assistant you know, under the integrations. It just found it. So it's just connected and going, hey, yep, there's a Bluetooth thing. Do you want to configure it? So now I can configure the SwitchBot device directly through Home Assistant. I didn't even need the app, but anyway, we know now. You've seen the app, how it works. Use the app if you want, or just use it directly in Home Assistant. And I'm going to give this an area, which is obviously in the Lego room as well and click finish and that's it i now have a switchbot device it's that simple to use it via bluetooth now i do want to just change the name of this because it's called something i can't remember what it's called so i'm just going to go to the entities and then for each of them give it a new name so the actual uh, thermometer the temperature we're going to call this uh, we can give it a name here in home assistant so i would highly recommend giving your devices good names because they're much easier to find obviously do that as soon as you can don't wait around because then it becomes a real nightmare i've uh, messed this up before especially with shelly's so call it you know lego room something lego room humidity here so we can use that as well and then there's the last one it's just a lego room battery uh, lego room temperature battery is that one as well because all of these stuff um, all these devices run on battery. So at some point, I'm probably going to do a video on how to monitor all of the batteries and knowing when to uh, replace them so that you don't suddenly just uh, die on you. And then on my dashboard here, I'm going to add the sensor to my list of uh, indoor temperature sensors. So just use the Lego room temperature sensor there. And then just to place it correctly to where I want it in the sequence of things. I'm going to put it up here next to the server cabinet because it's in the same room essentially. There we go, like that. And that's it. I now have a uh, temperature sensor using SwitchBot and Bluetooth in Home Assistant. Yay! Right, so this was much simpler than I thought as it turned out. So we saw that Bluetooth just popped up when I plugged in. So I had two Bluetooth because there was Bluetooth because there was already one in the Raspberry Pi, and then the other one came when I plugged in the USB into the extension. So make sure if you do that that you adopt the right one. So I'm pretty sure I got the right one. Um, and then I thought I had to use the app in order to adopt it, like most other things. So my lights that I've used for like my server cabinet, I have to adopt those into the app of the product and then there's an API through the cloud that does this. This is all done through Bluetooth. It's all local. I don't need an app. It doesn't go through the app now, the connection. It just popped up when I turned on the Bluetooth on the SwitchBot. So that was kind of neat. Um, but anyway, you've now seen what the app looks like and how you integrate with the app. So not that there was much to do in that, but you don't need the app. You just need a Bluetooth, which Raspberry Pi 4 already has. So if you're using another device for your home assistant, you need to make sure it has Bluetooth connection. There is a number of Bluetooth dongles and, and, and hardware that's known to work. I got one of those, so the Avantri. And then you just need to turn the device on and the Bluetooth just found it through home assistant. It was like, yeah, I know you there. So that's kind of cool. So if you enjoy this video, please do consider subscribing um, and give me a comment on what other things that you might want to use Bluetooth for. I'm thinking about the SwitchBot Hub, 
which has an infrared thing in it that can control TVs and air cons and stuff, but apparently that's quite a little bit, um, bit of triggery to it to get that into Helm Assistant. But yeah, please give me a comment. I subscribe, to, uh, subscribe? I subscribe to all comments. No, <laughs> I reply to all comments. Uh, if there's a question or a comment that, that you know, warrants a reply. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Today I'm going to use... for the Today I'm going to start using Bluetooth. Bluetooth? Anyway. So I'm back in my server cupboard. Um, as you may know, no, you might not.